Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to show you the best niches, in my opinion, that you can be choosing for your dropshipping business with a view of making the most of the last six months of the year, the last five months of the year, in fact. Of course, Q4 is just around the corner. I did a video on this topic. Now is the perfect time to jump into dropshipping to finally launch your store with some products, get testing, establish some traction, and put yourself in a position where you can make the most of the biggest three months of the year, which is quarter four, for obvious reasons. In this video, I'm going to take you through the best niches you can choose. I'll explain my choices for these niches and I will show you some product examples in these niches as well. These are not going to be your typical choices either of products that you see everybody else talking about. I'm not going to show you a single screen on AliExpress. These are going to be proper quality products with decent profit margins that you can deliver within one week. And with that being said, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this one. Any comments, questions, video suggestions, put them down below. I will see them and I will respond. Thanks. So the first niche I want to talk you through and explain my choice is the baby and children's niche. This one doesn't really need any introduction. It doesn't need any explanation. But just in case you're not sure what quarter four is, it's the last three months of the year. It contains Christmas. It contains Black Friday. It contains Cyber Monday. It's the biggest three months of the year for any e-commerce business, I would say, unless it's like a health and fitness business where they make all their money in those first couple of months of the year. Yeah. Other than that, Q4 is really the time in which you need to be gearing up and making sure you're ready. When October 1st hits, you need to have a store running and know exactly what products are going to sell well for you and have a supplier that's ready to cope with the demand. Q4 is really well suited for Facebook ads as well too, in my opinion, just purely because it's a time where people are thinking of buying presents for their children or for their grandchildren. So it goes without saying, they're going to be looking at things like teddies, things like toys, that sort of thing that can be given as gifts for Christmas. So teddies are always a good thing um, to go for. Just make sure you go for something a bit unique. Whenever you're trying to sell anything online, I would say, it's better to have or choose a product that has a specific unique selling point, something that when they see it, they've never seen anywhere else before. And that is what kind of sucks them in, draws them in and gets their attention. So for example, just scrolling through this list, like there's nothing crazy awesome about any of these products, but straight away, I see that the price of this dinosaur toy is 67 pounds. How that's pretty expensive for a teddy. So I'm going to have a quick look and see why on earth this product is nearly 70 quid or over 80 quid, including that. And this is the reason why, because it's an over a meter tall. This is a big teddy that probably sits this high off the ground. That's the unique selling point. These guys can deliver it in eight to 10 days from the Netherlands to the UK. It's certainly within good enough time ranges to build and start your dropshipping business with. And that in itself could be your brand, could be your niche. You could sell lots of different oversized dinosaur teddies because teddies, I can tell you now as somebody who has a nearly two year old, two year old in September, he absolutely loves their dinosaurs at this point. And we would actually consider buying something like this for him for Christmas or for his birthday, of course. Let's come down then just to point out some more um, and different options. Things like this are always a good thing too, like workbenches or kitchens like this, or even rocking horses. Again, they're not the typical kind of cheap, crappy dropshipping products that everybody else will be advertising. These are the sorts of products that's gonna help you kind of set yourself apart from everybody else. Because they're not the typical dropshipping products as well, people won't be used to seeing ads for this sort of thing on Facebook. And again, when people see something new that they're not used to, that is how you get attention and attention equals money. Cool is this as well. It's a ride on excavator toy. Again, every young boy loves diggers or the majority of them do, of course, and probably some girls too. It's an awesome toy. It's not mega, mega expensive either, including that. It's going to cost you £26.40 delivered as well. As we can see here, the dispatch time is 48 hours, free delivery, recommended retail price is £50. Selling unique quality products doesn't necessarily mean they have to be super expensive either out of people's price ranges. Plus, installing pay monthly options like Klarna, like Afterpay, 
No matter what country you're selling in, you can make these products affordable for everyone. There's lots and lots of different like RC toys or sorry, ride on electric battery powered toys. They're a cool product and I really like the idea actually personally myself having a brand built around these awesome things as we come down, uh, whether they'll pop up or not, I'm not sure, but you can sell branded ones like a Lamborghini. Like how awesome is that? Every young kid would love one of them for Christmas and being able to sell Christmas and it's not what somebody's going to see every day on Facebook either. I'm just going to scroll down and let these load so we haven't got to wait for them each time. But yeah, there's lots of different rocking horses as well that I've seen as well. So again, there's another potential brand idea depending on your level of experience with e-commerce or the time you have. Maybe you want to create just a generic kind of children's toy store and have different segments on the websites. Um, one purely for rocking horses, one for these battery powered vehicles, one for these different soft plays. Soft play is super, super popular and growing in popularity too. As we come down, as you can see, there's just endless different examples of things that you can sell another dinosaur themed toy this would be a brilliant toy it's unique you're not going to see it on aliexpress and because somebody has already imported it themselves they will have taken care of quality control making sure it's a decent product this one is actually based in the us too so whether you're watching this video from the uk from europe from the us these are all products that you can deliver with super fast delivery times and they're not just your typical crap from aliexpress i'm really trying to open people's eyes and transform your thinking away from aliexpress and chinese products because everybody is trying to flog and sell and teach the same thing on here you need to do things differently today in order to succeed the next niche I want to show you, the next niche I want to show you is jewelry. Jewelry goes without saying, it's one of the most popular gifts people will give for Christmas. Before we take a look through the products though, I just want to make you aware of my mentorship program, my one-to-one -one hand holding mentorship process. The way it works is me and yourself will work together and no matter what point you're at now, I will have a look at any previous existing Shopify stores or ads that you've ran and give you some pointers and put together a game plan of getting you from where you are now to where you want to be in one, two or three months time. If that sounds of interest to you, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll give you information on how it works and how to jump on a call, a Zoom call with myself so we can meet, have a discussion, get to, work, get to know each other and see if it'll be a good fit for me and you to work together back to the video then. So scrolling through jewelry. Jewelry you have to be careful with. You have to be really, really careful with because selling generic, boring, dare I say it, is that a bit mean to say, but they're just boring generic watches. Why would anybody choose this watch? There's nothing really that unique or exciting about it. So you wanna try and stay away from things like that. You wanna go for something a bit more specific so that you can specific with a unique selling point that makes it more attractive to consumers. So for example, this one that says love you, that's clearly aimed at somebody who has a loved one. So you could aim it towards people's anniversaries, which you can target on Facebook. You could aim it towards Mother's Day. You can aim it towards somebody buying it for their daughter, for their son, probably not son, but you get the gist. When there's a specific message and target market for a piece of jewelry, it becomes so much easier to sell. This one here, happy 18th birthday. I would have to double check, I can't remember off the top of my mind whether you can target people based on when their birthdays are coming up. I don't think you can, but that's the idea. Let's see if we can find some more examples. So for example, best friends, that would be the perfect marketing angle. Everybody has a best friend or a special friend in their life. This would make a perfect gift for Christmas. Let's keep, keep scrolling it down then, see if we can find anything to give you some guys some more ideas. So there's like a turtle necklace. I've seen something like this done before. In fact, I've seen the brand being sold on flipper.com i believe and they sold this turtle necklace for every necklace they sold they donated x amount i think to turtle charities i can't remember specifically but there was like a a moral connection with some sort of charity or local shelter to do with turtles you can target people who have a passion and interested in turtles this would make a perfect gift for those people and there is a charitable benefit as well so that's kind of like the way you need to think you need to find something that's unique not just in jewelry and anything that you sell and then try and kind of work on the offer to make it better 
offer to make it that much more attractive and exciting for your consumer. So yes, everybody runs a sale, right, on their products. Everybody says it should be 50 quid, it's now 40 quid. It's not exciting enough for the consumer. You need to really juice it up, add in freebies, add in bonuses, add in different cross sales, upsells, add in a moral benefit by partnering with some form of charity. Maybe I'll do a video on this topic actually of different ways you can really juice up your offer to make it look more enticing for the consumers. Here we have another piece of jewelry here that's quite unique, aimed at a specific market. It's aimed at children. You can market it as the first watch for your son or daughter. It's not just a generic watch. This one has dinosaurs on, so you could aim it at grandparents, but also cross connect it with children who are interested in dinosaurs. It's the perfect gift if you have a child coming up to that age who absolutely loves dinosaurs to get them a dinosaur watch. Speaking of Q4 and Christmas earlier on, it's the same necklace or bracelet, I believe, but it says Merry Christmas on it. It's just, it's, it, I think this is a really good product actually because there's always the people that you don't really know what to get them. So you could get them a little kind of generic thing like this for 15, 20 pounds. It says Merry Christmas with a love heart on it. It's a nice little gift. And I think one that marketed correctly could do very, very well this Q4. Moving on to pet supplies then, it couldn't be a Q4 or drop shipping product recommendation video without talking about pet supplies. Again, when it comes to pet supplies, be specific, try and find something unique. So for example, these little kind of like wicker basket beds are pretty cool. I can definitely see people of an older generation who typically buy this sort of furniture, especially for outdoors, um, investing in something like this for their home. So what I've done here is I've selected pet supplies and I've actually searched by beds because beds are such a popular one. Scrolling through this website, we can see just how unique and how different and the, diff and the variety and range of dog beds that we have available to us to drop ship. If we come up and actually get rid of bed and just go pet supplies in general, you'll soon see there's products on here, large quality, great profit margin products that you won't have been used to seeing that you probably never even would have crossed your mind or even thought about selling some of these because they're just not the sort of thing you could do or get from aliexpress so these pet stairs the cat ladder for bed and the storage a great product there's variations of that on aliexpress that have sold very very well but you won't see these exact ones and it's all about taking a proven tried and tested concept that you know works but finding a different variation of it and this is a great example as we come down we can actually see bird cages birds not a niche in here many people typically talking about it but there's definitely a market out there and again how often is somebody who's really interested in birds going to see an advert on Facebook for bird related products? Probably not very often. So in terms of capturing their attention, it's probably going to come a lot easier than targeting dog owners. Scrolling down and coming through, we can see lots and lots of different things. Lots and lots of really quite cool products, actually large products, expensive products. Again, these are all going to be vetted and pre picked by the people who chose to import them into the country. They're going to make sure their quality and they take all of that kind of risk off your hands this is a great product too with the raised pet bowl with storage it's definitely an issue for people who live in smaller households and there is a health benefit i believe too to having it raised off the ground especially for larger dogs it makes them easier it makes it easier for them to chew their food and, and take a drink i believe without choking which i know can be an issue for some breeds if we come back up then, pet supplies are still pretty broad. Um, let's put toy in, have a look at uh, all the toys within pet supplies. Um, they've got like different agility toys. There's a big market for dog agility. There's like a catch mouse moving cat toy here, which is probably a pretty cool product. The one caveat I should say actually, which I probably should have mentioned earlier with some of these products is because they're not readily available, get obtaining ad creatives for these products is gonna come a lot more difficultly if that's a word. What you'll have to do basically is order some of these products yourself, film your own content, or have it shipped to whoever's gonna be filming or making the content for you. Something else worth considering too for Q4 is personalized products. Personalized products is a massive market all year round, even more so in Q4. Combining niches as well is also a very powerful thing because it makes the products a lot more specific and relevant 
with a certain customer. And you've heard me speak about this in previous videos before. If somebody can come across your product and just have the impression that product was made specifically for them because it combines a couple of the different interests, then that's a great, great recipe for a great product with huge amounts of potential. Products like this that combine toys or kids, a perfect and lovely gift. Instead of just getting them a generic train, get them a train that says their name on it. It just makes it that much more special. And so with that being said then guys, thank you very much for watching the video. If you would like some more information on how the mentorship program works, what you need to do is head to the video description below this video, click the mentorship link. It's going to take you to a page that looks something like this. What this is, to be honest and 100% upfront with you guys, is it's a gatekeeping process. I only work with five people every single month. I want to work with the people who are most dedicated and serious about committing themselves to dropshipping and changing their lives over the course of the next few months. If that is you, you will have no problem spending the next two to three minutes to fill out this simple questionnaire. This questionnaire will give me an opportunity to get somewhat of an idea of where you are now and where you want to be with my help in one, two or three months time. If you have a realistic goal that I am confident I can help you achieve, it will allow you to get through to my calendar where you can pick a time and date in which me and you will jump on a Zoom call, meet, have a chat, see what's what and take it from there. If that sounds good to you, head over there now, get your call booked in and I look forward to meeting you there. Thanks.